Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If today is your first time coming across my channel, you are so much welcome. This is Psych Nurse Abina. I am a Ghanaian trained psychiatric nurse currently practicing in the Republic of Ireland. I have good news for every overseas nurse that is taking the Ireland OSCE. I mean the RCSI. This video is for you. Kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share. In the practical aspect of the RCSI exams or the aptitude test for overseas nurses coming into Ireland to obtain their Irish um, license, there are some important checks that the nurse needs to do in all the 14 stations. And in today's video, I am going to give you six of these important checks. You don't have to forget in all the 14 stations of the Ireland OSCE. Kindly subscribe, like, comment and share because this gives me the motivation to bring you more videos. Thank you for doing that for me. one of these checks that you don't have to forget in your OSCE is to check sin for safety. Why are you checking the sin for safety? This is to ensure that the environment in which you are going to carry your procedure is safe for you and it's safe for the patient. If you need to check the sin so that in case you spot anything that may pose a risk to you, the nurse, all to the patient you need to draw your assessor's attention to that and that is why it is very important to check that the thing is safe the second important checks you need to do is to ensure that you have introduced yourself so well to the patient you need to let the patient know you in fact introducing yourself to the patient is a form of establishing rapport with the patient but how do you do it in OSCE you can simply go like hello good morning how are you doing I am nurse Abina one of the nurses on duty and I will be your nurse for today this is the simplest and the easiest way to introduce yourself to your patients during your OSCE exam. Three of these OSCE checks is to check for the patient's identity. How do you do it? After introducing yourself, get to know the patient's name. But for you to be able to identify that indeed you are with the right patient, you need to seek for the patient's consent to touch his or her wristband. The wristband has the patient's full name, date of birth, and hospital number that you can easily use that to confirm with the information on the patient's cardex. And that is the three-way patient identity check during the OSCE examination. Number four of the OSCE checks is to check for patient allergies. You need to find out if the patient is allergic to any form of medication, most especially in the medication station. Find out if the patient is allergic to any medication that he or she knows. Aside medication, there are some medical supplies that the patient may be allergic to, such as plaster. You need to check all these allergies in your OSCE station. Don't forget about this. If you find information on my channel very useful for you, kindly subscribe and recommend for others. This is a channel where everything about nursing migration is discussed and how best you can transfer your license from your country to the Republic of Ireland. Number Maryland. five of the OSCE checks is to check the expiring date of medications that may be given to you to use in any of the OSCE stations. Aside medications, don't forget to check the expiring date of some medical supplies that you'll be using in your OSCE station. It is very, very important in the OSCE examination and you don't have to forget to do that. Number six of the OSCE checks in today's video is remember to check for privacy. You need to provide privacy to maintain the patient's dignity. In all the 14 stations, it is very important and you don't have to forget to do this. Before I end, all psychiatric nurses taking the OSCE should also remember to check out for their emergency alarm before entering any psychiatric station. 
it is very necessary for every psychiatric nurse taking the rcsi to take notice of this so these are the six important checks you need to do in your rcsi exams if you find those video useful kindly subscribe to my channel like comment and share to others to help them in their preparation towards their RCSI. Thank you for watching today's video. I will be coming your way next time with another informative video. As far as your nursing migration to the Republic of Ireland is concerned, my name is Psych Nurse Abina. This is my channel. Kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you next time. Bye bye.